Oi, what's the time? Okay, uh, my entry for Summer Builds 21, hosted by Down Under Woodworks, is this clock. If you can't see the time outside, we'll, you get out of the pool too early, and we can't have that. Well, that was a bad example. I've got one. Alrighty, now why I cut my veneers for my decorative piece, I just want to do a quick shout out to this bloke, Andrew Zito. Now, he has done this and most recently inspired me to have a go at it. Um, his way was done completely different. Um, I'm basically just going to chop my veneers, but definitely go ahead and check him out on Instagram and YouTube. He is a really great human being and you're really going to love his build. Alright, so let's crack on. I'm making loads of diamonds, all cut with the crosscut sled. This shouldn't take long at all. Oh! One. So now I've got to tape it all together uh, to make a veneer. I'm going to get the fan back on because it's 4,000 degrees in Townsville. It's always 4,000 degrees. I don't know why. Alrighty, sticker sponsor shout out is Jeff from Her Big Design Co. Go and check him out on Instagram and now also YouTube. Thanks, mate. Okay, time to cut some circles. I'm using a little trim router and you'll notice I've just got it on a thin piece of MDF, which works really good to let you plunge down just like this. Um, then you can set it, then turn it on and get stuck into your circles. And how funny is the vacuum noise? I'm just gonna cut some more circuits. Oh, there it goes again. Oh, funny, I don't know why. Cutting circles on the table saw is a really great way to do it with a super simple jig, but again, I'm just showing you some differences. Okay, it's absolutely pouring rain in Townsville. Let me just show you a quick comparison. It's very hard to see. I'll try and zoom in as much as possible. The difference between the router and the table saw cut. You can see the router. It's an absolutely perfect circle. You'll see with the table saw, you might have a few of these ridges, um, no matter how many times you spin around, you may be able to get those out with a sander. So it's not as accurate. Something else to keep in mind, you may only have a uh, small router bit that doesn't go all the way through. So you'll cut half, spin the circle over, cut the other side. Again, you may sometimes end up with a slightly uh, a slightly different circle depending on how perfect that screw is down the center point um, a little bit of difference can throw your circle out not a big deal for me or you depending on which way you do it you can always cut one circle come back with a flush trim clean it off they'll be exactly the same i'll be using the router again for these circles because i need absolute precision um, so I'm going to go ahead and chop this inner circle out first as a vacuum. Now because I'm a bit of a drongo and I was so focused on getting that inner circle perfect, I cut it first. Now ideally you want to cut the outside one first, so I then just had to screw it down, which I got away with uh, because it's rustic in inverted commas, but uh, you may not have that luxury. 
Now I think this is pretty cool. It is just diamonds all cut to the same size. It's, it's magic, I love it. First time using the new drill press, look at me go. Oh, this thing is gonna be groovy. Now I've got this behemoth of a 50 mil chisel and the plan was just to take a little bit of the edge away uh, so I could then use a flush trim router to remove the rest of the material. Um, but having sharp chisels, it's a bit of a novelty for me so I actually just carried on and I chiseled it all out and then again I used the chisels on this epoxy which I probably shouldn't have. The clamping mechanism is making sure this outer ring was a perfect fit. Now I cut about six or seven dummy runs, um, matched it up against the main circle um, before I went and did this. Um, it's just tight enough to make its way down. All right, it's working, happy days. It's becoming a bit of a tradition for all these challenges that all my builds get a bottle opener. Like these ones. What could possibly go wrong? Good for, um, for down under woodworks, Aussie summer builds challenge. 21? I can't remember the hashtag. Aussie builds 21. I gotta look it up.